Say something? Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool. Um, I don't want to be uh, insensitive or nothing like that. But what I will say to just make it clear, let's, let's go all in on facts here. Um, right now, we are in a very, 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 very peculiar place. I don't understand if y'all understand there's different cultures in different worlds, but the drug culture is a different world. Um, we are just now coming out of like the crack era into like a whole different era of drug users. I call it the designer drug user. So everybody want to take the pills, the oxy, the oxy, all that, and the addies and the perks, and it's that's what it is. And um. Big Pharma kind of figured that out and made it wide sale available to the point where uh, people are making fake versions. And um, the best thing I can say is y'all are new crackheads now for the most part. <laughs> Majority of everybody, like really, to be honest with you, is this the new niggas is the new crackheads now, um, especially the young niggas. I'm talking to the young niggas on that one. Y'all really the new crackheads now. So, I think that's an easy way to get somebody out, though, because you know, yeah, give him of a course, part. he, he give died him at part. home with his family. I'm gonna tell you, so. I'm gonna tell you some real shit that probably happened, some real stuff that probably happened. This is the ugly reality of it. Rich Homie Quan stay in Atlanta. I don't know if y'all know, but uh, Atlanta is the home of like a lot of middle, like all the middlemen in the cartels and stuff right now, and it's a it's a known cartel hub, all that stuff. When you getting drugs in a city like that, you got to assume that like eight different groups done had their hands on it. If you get a brick right now in Atlanta and you be like, hey, I want it like you're not going to get it straight from raw to the purse because he got to call somebody to call somebody to call somebody. And I was just explaining that earlier. You get what I'm saying, Jet? Mm -hmm. So while everybody getting their cuts and everybody doing their thing. What you think happening? What you think going on? They they cutting it. They cutting it. They making it worse. They cutting it. They they putting quinine on it. They putting fentanyl on it. They using crushed up no dos. I done seen a nigga take pure caffeine and put it in something before. So that's just to let you know how wild the game is. First of all, I would never ever ever like condemn nobody that's done drugs. My mom, she's a recovering addict. She's been clean twenty seven years. My auntie, she's still a struggling addict. So I, I've i seen drug addiction pretty much wipe out like majority of my family members, a lot of my friends and family. Shit, everybody done experimented and been there and done that. Like at a certain age, I looked up and was like, man, I'm not taking pills or none of that no more because like people are dying. Well, it's like, um, let's kind of break this down though. So like, my bad to cut you Go off. Go off. Um, so, him and YSL Woody, because YSL Woody brought up his name, like we, we mentioned, and I, he just, they just responded, like he laughed off something whenever he brought up his name, which makes it uh, kind of, you know, very fishy. So I was watching AK-47 today, and, you know, he was kind of breaking some stuff down. Now, I know that he died with his family and all this, but a lot of people are kind of alluding that, you know, Thug sold his soul to the devil. He in some shady things because Thug ain't the thug that he was when he got into the game. He started wearing dresses, started calling people Bay. Hey, I'm just saying the theory. You know. I'm going to be the conspiracy theorist guy. Okay. Um, I'm just I'm devil's advocate, okay? I'm not saying I believe this or I don't. It just makes you go, right. hmm. Yeah. So with his name getting mentioned, it's like, hold up. Does, does, you know, does he got to get him out of Because he is technically a witness in this case, right? Yeah, okay. So that's what they were alluding to. And, you know, AK-47 was bringing up all kind of things. Now, the one thing that people brought up on Twitter, and then I'll let you go, gang. Do you remember that video where, where, where a young thug was putting up the, the lighter to, to show you what a real pill and a fake pill was? Yeah. So people pulling that up like, hmm, that looks fishy too. Now, like I said, I'm just being a conspiracy theorist in the sense of just putting the cap on. Not saying that I believe it or I don't, because anything's possible. I'm what do you think this. about that take? <laughs> oh man, it's heavy, and I hate to do it. R.I.P. to Quan, but just, I want be, justice for Quan regardless. I'm gonna be this guy that's gonna say this. It's a it's a hell of a accusation in theory, yet 
It's a hell of an accusation. This is all allegedly. And, allegedly. And, and, and like I said, this that's is why conspiracy I said theory. theory. That's why I said theory. theory. Yeah, that's yeah, why, I, that's why I made sure I said conspiracy yeah, theory. But I'm going to say this. That's not far-fetched. And um, I'll leave it at this. I'll leave it at this. And we can go from here. Most of the drug, drug addicts back in the day, gangs and stuff like that, all that, bro. All that, bro. They used to literally, ah, oh, look who came to work. <laughs> <laughs> My boy. So. We got a no smoking policy. I got to smoke today, man. Yeah, not the black. You can't do the black. Oh, goddamn. Probably go out there and do it. Uh, that ain't going to work. Oh, boy, I was interested. I feel you. Had a month. Hey, man. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get to this because, hey, look, I, 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 nothing more than just hearing funny out of another nigga mirrors me. So, yeah, um, niggas do it to me. Uh, <laughs> real shit, niggas do it to me. It's okay. Um, in the drug culture, you ever seen Why Don't Fools Fall in Love with Frankie Lyman? You ever seen that movie? I mean, before. What happened when he over when they gave him the hot shot? They gave him the drugs. Like that's usually how you get a lot of people out of the way. Since the beginning of time, we talking about uh, we talking about uh, um, rich homie Quan overdose, and they talking about the theory that it probably was a bad pill that was given to him. Facts, yeah. And I can believe that. I, it ain't far fetched because that's how. But the other theory was even crazier. I said uh, AK forty seven was breaking down. Like, was Thug was Thug a part of it? No, like you said no. this is conspiracy you, theory. Because look, bro, I'm gonna be real with you. Mm. If you look at Thug Face in court, bro, they got a mean. They got a they got a video showing Young Thug in court when he found out. Like, you can tell when he was in court today. Like he was, hey, bro. Man. You know what? You gotta understand. Him and Thug was close, bro. It was like this. But and you know what it be? I'm in jail. Word. You in the world, bro. You probably be thinking you got enough time to fix it. Because remember, Quan been yeah. saying on his interviews they never had a problem, and he wasn't going. He didn't go yeah. testify on Young what Thug. What not? What not? The problem that Thug had with with Rich Homie Quan was started the riff was because Thug was doing all the the extra gay stuff that that Rich Homie won with. Yeah, and mm-hmm. so a nigga tried him with right. that, and he said, "Bro, I ain't Young Thug." You know what I'm saying? And when Thug caught wind of that, that's when the problem first started. Facts. You know, that's when they yeah. riff first started. When they started having a riff. You know what I'm saying? And of course, YFN, Lucci, that whole situation. Because yeah. you got to understand, YFN, Lucci, and um, Rich Homie Quan, they was on the same production company, Think It's a Game. Yeah. They was on Think It's a Game is together. They got signed, like, like Think It's a Game is a production company in Atlanta. And basically, they signed artists to production deals, do artist development with them. Gobs them up and then they shop them off the other labels. That's how uh, Rich Homie Quan had this deal over here. They other artists was on Def Jam. They had other artists in different places. Yeah. So at the end of the day, bro, like it ain't far fetched that somebody could be like, damn, I'm gonna get rid of this nigga, give him a bad pill because that's that's kind of like in like the drug culture. Like I done seen a lot of people do it. Hell, you ever seen Sugar Hill? When he killed his daddy, uh, he gave his daddy the hot shot of dope. Mm-hmm. Like you paid him full. Paid you know, him, yeah. Look at, uh, like every movie out of every. If you ever notice, everybody dies. B. Like but. if you ever notice, that's like the drug culture. Like for the most part, like if you want to get rid of a dope thing, like on uh raising Canaan, when Marvin Gaye, when Marvin Gaye, the dude that posted left on the bus, he gave him the bad crack. Like that's what that's what that is. Yeah, but and, what, what people gotta understand is, bro, anytime you dealing with a pill, any fuck just a pill. Anytime you dealing with any drug, bro, it's a risk. Even even weed, even weed, bro. You never know who laced it or put some in it. You know, every time you do a drug, it's a risk. But especially pills, because fake pills is what these niggas is getting rich off of in the streets, bro. Money they don't love nobody. Them hoes bro. for a dollar, bro. They pressing the fuck out them pills for a dollar and sending them out there to the streets and. Woody Woo. So that's probably what happened, bro. He and he probably got it from a a, a, a pill connect that who he been shopping with and just didn't and, know. And pill connect he ain't, he ain't even know because that I got a partner who that happened. I got a partner right now serving fifteen years on a manslaughter mm-hmm. for that, bro. Mm-hmm. The nigga used to trap drugs and pills and didn't even know he got a bad batch of pills and he he killed a girl with it, bro. He Damn, sold a girl yeah. a pill and she died. They'll get you out. He's sitting for that. fifteen yeah. years right now. He I had no that. idea. It was he a had bad no idea, like, and that's why. And I was telling my homeboy that earlier. I said, you know what's the crazy part? The real, the, like the craziest shit about all this, bro. 
The nigga that sold him the pill probably seeing all these headlines and probably losing it right Cause now. Because he, they coming for him. Because they coming for they him. They coming. And this is what I said earlier. I said, man, if and and, and and just drugs and and just the hustle period. I've always said this: if you want some hard and you got to call a nigga to call, and he got to call a nigga, you don't want to get nothing from that nigga. <laughs> Cause if you gotta call him and he gotta, gotta call, call somebody, somebody else, else to and, somebody else, yeah, no. that's too many hands that's, many. that's cutting and playing into Facts. what you got going Facts. on. If I call you, you better know the you should be, person. Should, you should, if I'm come. calling you, you should be able to take me to the person to the per- who got to the source it. who got it. I should not have to go I through another. Know. Facts. If I gotta, yeah, no, if facts. I gotta go through 30, 30 if people, I gotta, I gotta go wait this dude, then another dude, then finally you nah, ain't right. It ain't right. Facts. So that's what I was saying. Just like I was telling, I was saying earlier, I was like, man, y'all gotta. Look at the just drugs. Period. If you get a kilo right now from from Mexico, by the time it get here to Austin or Colleen, bro, eight hands done touched it. Been through it. And now, mind you, everybody got to get they cut. <laughs> so we talking about fentanyl, they everything. Now, well, they cutting the fuck. They out cutting it, and they got and your weight. God, they gonna make sure your weight, weight your weight. Yeah. Cause somebody got to explain why you ain't got nothing when the plug come calling. Facts. So they gonna make sure your weight, wait, but now it's full of everything, bro. And the crazy part is, dude probably thought he was helping the bridge homie Quan. Probably, you know what I'm saying? He probably was geek. Yeah, and that, that was he like that was kind of what I was saying too, Zay. Is uh, there was a thing going viral again today, or resurfaced? I wouldn't say viral, but a thug showing the difference between how to show a real and a fake pill. So people were using all kind of theories on that. Man, it ain't never no way to tell, bro. Ain't no way to tell. Only way I can tell <laughs> is this, man. Y'all know them. Y'all know ain't no such. I think maybe somebody was telling me like, man, ain't no such thing as no per thirties, and it's, it's not. I mean, it's not. It's only tens and twenties. I think. Nah, so what did he? Uh, uh, That's the strength of the so, perk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah so but ain't no perk, such thing no, as a no, thirty. It's mm. technically no such thing as a per thirty, bro. So what he? I can't remember exactly what it is, bro. It's it's another name for it. That's a when you talking about the thirties, bro. But it's a uh, it's another name for the pill, bro. That's what it's really called. But just because it's like called a perk thirty, that don't mean it's fake, bro. But like that's most of them, the ones that's gonna be fake, bro. Is the is the thirties? Yeah, and I, I tell people all the time, like, bro, you gotta be kidding me, like, because tens is easier to get. Like I said, a perk thirty, the the the, the, the I can't remember the, the technical name for it right now. Them shits is hard to get. Real pharmaceutical, hey, possible to get, bro. Them I know this hard from get. being in the army. You like, have, bro, you have to have some type of surgery. You have to be. It's some. You have some type of medical reason why you getting prescribed this. Is this? If it's not coming from somebody who got a prescription on it, bro, nine times out of ten. That's why I say y'all taking. That's why I said I don't understand how you taking perks and you can't. You not going to like I tell you all the time. Unless you got injured and went to the doctor, you shouldn't even want something that would come yeah. over a far, like hydrocodone, Roxy's. You don't want nothing that didn't come over a counter. counter fact. Like if you see somebody serving you out a pill bag and this residue on the bag, <laughs> you clearly know them them things is pressed. Hey man, it's your boy Big Game. You tapping in to Pop Austin Media. You like that content, man? Hit that like subscribe button and get in tune for sure, for sure.